Hey there, cats and kittens. An apartment has become open in the Peachtree's building. Great price. Just avoid all the rubble. Um, let me think about that for a second. Mm, no. Speaking of battered buildings in a dystopian future, this week's movie review is... So this film is based on a really bleak future and you have these enormous cities, mega cities. And so the story takes place in Mega City 1. Our hero is Judge Joseph Dredd and I have some information for you right here. He is assigned a pretty and powerful telepath, a mutant, called Anderson. And he has a day to evaluate her and see if she has the right stuff to be a judge. Unfortunately, on this day, they go investigate what seems to be a standard homicide, but only to be caught in the clutches of Mama, a powerful drug trafficker. It's really exciting as they must battle their way out of this fortified building. I really liked this film. I thought it was tough, it was gritty, it was bleak, and I thought Carl Urban as Judge Dredd was fantastic. I really liked how he kept the helmet on during the whole time, and he was someone who you thought, okay, this guy is no nonsense. Judge Anderson, well, she's very pretty, but also I thought she gave a really wonderful performance. It was multi-layered. And um, there was a lot of hesitancy and vulnerability in the beginning. But over the course of the film, she became tougher. But she never lost her sense of mercy and compassion. Mama, as the chief villainess, was fantastic. And she was very tough and merciless. And... The scarring in her soul reflected the scarring on her face. Kay, as one of Mama's lieutenants, is also tough and very good. A great bad guy. The chief judge was very much a woman in charge. And also, I like the way she was no-nonsense and strictly by the book. If you like action... If you like a fully thought out and well executed dystopian future, a very bleak future, if you like solid action sequences, then I can recommend this film. I like this film so much, I'm going to give it a B plus, and I can recommend you see it in the movie theaters. Don't take children. There are scenes which are very disturbing, and so I would say 15 and up. I am planning to see it again on Netflix, and I may very well buy it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you're having an awesome day. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and pin me to your homepage. Have an awesome day. And I will be talking to you very soon. Bye.